G'day Germo, congratulations on an amazing coaching career. You've had a massive impact on young players all over the country. I think one of your greatest strengths is the impact you have on the culture at the clubs you um, coach at. Um, what you've instilled at Subiaco is still going. Um, they're playing great footy and, it's, and the work you've done um, on instilling work rate. Um, and I think one of the things I'm most appreciative um, is what you've done for my career, particularly early on. Um, instilling that work rate, what's expected um, from young players and mate I'm so appreciative of everything you've done for me mate so just because I'm retiring you didn't have to do the same but uh, mate congratulations and really enjoy the family time. Hey Germo, uh, congratulations mate on an uh, amazing uh, playing career and coaching career. Um, I want to thank you for everything you've done for me in my early days, um, held me in good stead definitely one of the hardest coaches that I was ever coached by, but um, yeah, I love you for it and I'm um, still going, thanks to you, so hope you have a great night and um, congratulations. Hey Jomo, uh, Mick Hartley here, I just wanted to say congrats on uh, finishing up at Coburg, uh, the two years we spent together were, were pretty good for me, I uh, ended up playing some half decent footy because of you and, and ended up getting me drafted, so I just want to say thanks for that, uh, to be honest I won't miss the uh, the little sprays that used to give me personally, they were one step kicks. Um, sprays in general weren't, weren't too great for me, but um, but the times, the, uh, the good times that we that we had there were, were really good, and um, yeah, I appreciate all you, all, you, all you did for me. So um, short and sweet for me. I'll just uh, wrap it up because you know I'm pretty shocking at speeches, but I just want to say thanks again. You're awesome for me. Um, hopefully, we'll catch up. Hey Jamo, I just want to say quick congratulations on an awesome coaching career. I thank you very much for everything that you've done for the Coburg Football Club and myself as well. Give me the belief to, to play VFL level and, and playing a massive part in myself getting drafted. I wish you all the very best to you and your family for your future endeavours and hopefully we can catch up soon for a coffee. So take care and I'll catch up soon. Uh, thanks Jamo. Um, I had two great years down at Coburg and uh, I just want to say thanks for teaching me the best ways to go about my football and uh, for getting the most out of myself, so cheers. As we all know, yeah, done at Coburg at the end of the year, and first of all, I'd like to say congratulations on your uh, terrific career at Coburg. And, um, 2016 was a massive year for me. Um, you were my main influence, uh, the reason why I wanted to play AFL, and lucky enough I got drafted to Fremantle, and um, I'd like to say, again, congratulations, and um, I hope you do well outside of footy now that you're not down at Coburg. I know you've got your pub down there, which I wouldn't mind going down to and have a couple of cheeky froppies down there for you to help out the local, but um, again mate, um, just a massive thank you and I'm pretty sure all the boys standing over there will uh, congratulate you as well man, and terrific coach and yeah, hopefully see you soon when I'm back down in Melbourne. Cheers mate. Uh, g'day Jermo, um, just wanted to say thank you mate for your contribution that you've made to the Coburg Footy Club over the last um, four years. Um, you obviously took it on uh, in its first year as a standalone club and you've built it up to something now where we have an identity um, and a culture um, that you can be proud of and that hopefully we can continue to carry on. Um, personally, mate, thank you for giving me the opportunity um, to learn uh, under you first and foremost as a player, but now as a coach, um, I know that I see you as a mentor and somebody that I'll continue to call on um, in future years. So all the best with whatever you do moving forward. I know that it'll be a success. Thank you. Hey, Jermo, just a quick thank you for your time at Coburg Football Club. Uh, it certainly was a great time in my time there as a standalone club. I think when you took over the club in 2014, uh, you were definitely the right man for the job. And I'd just like to thank you personally for your time and effort to myself, my teammates, and uh, all the knowledge you passed on to me. And wish you all the best in the future. Thank you. Jim, I just quick video to say thank you very much for all your hard work um, with the time you've been with the footy club. You've taken us from a, an aligned club um, to a standalone club and the transition has been quite successful. Um, we probably don't have the win-loss ratio we would have liked, but you've set a really strong foundation uh, and a culture at the club now that should see it successful into the future. So thank you very much. Uh, on a personal level, thank you for all your help 
um, not only with the time we spent together, uh, the relationship we have now post footy. Um, good luck with everything you do after um, your time with us, and no doubt we'll stay in touch. Cheers, mate. Jermo, congratulations on a fantastic uh, coaching career. Thanks for everything you've done for Coburg over the past four years. You've uh, turned the club into a successful standalone club and obviously had a lot of success with getting some young players drafted. Thanks for what you've done for me personally. As a footballer uh, and as a person, I've learned a hell of a lot uh, and it was an absolute honour and privilege running out under you um, at Coburg. Thanks very much, mate. All the best. Jermo, just want to say thanks very much for the last three years. Not only uh, on my football career, but in a personal sense. Um, you've been a huge influence and can't thank you enough. I um, want to wish you all the best for the next phase of your life. And um, yeah, go Burgers. Jermo, Forksy here, mate. Uh, just want to wish you all the best um, for the future um, endeavours. I, uh, I can't thank you enough personally for what you've done for me individually um, as a footballer. Um, sure there were certain times where <laughs> I uh, was a little bit scared. There's sort of, I remember one game very vividly. Um, we're down at Skilled Stadium. Half time, we're getting a bit of a touch up, um, preferably on the wings. Um, they were both uh, Dobbs listed players. Um, you walked into the bloody room and you could almost breathe fire. <laughs> uh, I'm not too sure if you're still doing it at Coburg, but you used to walk around with a, uh, a whiteboard marker. You've lined up Josh Hill <laughs> and you've absolutely barreled him. Um, and then you picked up the whiteboard uh, eraser and you've, you've absolutely nailed Nathan Eagleton who was about 34. I think he had three games of footy left. <laughs> but um, look, I can't thank you enough again what you've done for me. I just, I'll uh, look forward to seeing you down at the, uh, the Oak Park Footy Club. Cheers, Gemma. Pete, congratulations on a great career. Um, spent so much time with you obviously in the 2000s and uh, Really appreciate your time and effort as a coach and really had a strong bond with your players and you've been fantastic not only for the uh, the Waffle but the VFL and, and clubs like Coburg and no doubt you've produced some great players and, and come on and played some real special AFL careers as well. So really be proud of what you've achieved and and congratulations on a, on a great coaching career and whatever it brings beyond that and, and good luck for the remainder of the season with Coburg. They tell me the time's come. Uh, it's coming to an end, your coaching, and what a terrific coaching career you've had. Um, a, a footy career in general. You've been um, a terrific servant to the game over many years, all the way back to your suburban footy um, club that we've been to. You took us there on a camp and we stayed there and you made us sleep on the floor. Um, oh, we didn't really sleep, actually. Um, but And then all the way through your playing at North Melbourne, which you were a champion of the game, and then your coaching career. Um, you just did some wonderful things for the game and, and for some individuals. Um, you know, I certainly value what you did for me. Um, but in general, I'm not sure what you're going to do now. I think it's going to be in footy because you know footy, you get it. Um, and speaking from Subiaco, um, where you coached us, we were underachievers before you came. We got you on board and then we've just won, we just won many premierships and the boys are favourites um, this year as well. And that's probably from your legacy that you've left. Uh, well done, uh, I don't know what more I can say. I don't know, I feel sorry for Kath now because I think you're gonna get some withdrawals from, you got no one to bake anymore, do you mate, you know? I don't know who you're gonna say, <laughs> kick. So, um, all the best, we love you mate. And um, I'm sure it's gonna be a, a positive future for you. Hey Jermo, Ben Jolly here mates. Um, just wanted to, I suppose, congratulate yourself on, on such a long lasting and, uh, and a mag magnificent career across various levels of, um, of state football um, here in Victoria and obviously abroad. Um, mate, um, from my experiences I couldn't be any more grateful for the legacy that you left with both me as a player and a person here at the Williamstown Football Club. Um, that little uh, itch that will never be scratched of no premiership success, I, I'm sure will kind of unfortunately stay with us, but um, my God, we did give it a, a very, very big shake there for a couple of years. So, mate, I'm forever in your debts, um, and, uh, and just once again, on behalf of myself, current players, and I suppose the majority of people in, uh, in football here in Victoria, just want to say uh, thank you very much, and uh, the competition certainly won't be the same without you. Cheers, mate. 
G'day Germo, congratulations on an outstanding coaching career. 25 years in the system mate, it's a phenomenal effort. You've coached over 1,500 players, 20 of those have been drafted and gone on to AFL careers, not to mention the countless staff, administrators and coaches that you've had an impact on. Uh, one being me, uh, I've worked closely with you for 10 years now and uh, I've truly valued our friendship and our working relationship. You've taught me so much about the game uh, and clearly uh, you know what that means to be involved. Uh, well done to Kath and the family for obviously putting up with 25 years of coaching. It's an amazing effort. They've followed you all over the country. Uh, you'll go down in the VFL as, as one of the great coaches and I'm really honoured to have worked closely with you. Well done and enjoy the retirement after footy. Thank <laughs> you.